Hey guys, today's the day. I'm not gonna talk too much today because I have a lot of grass to cut and I have to cut really slow because I still have all of these saplings popping up and everywhere there's a sapling I have to think that there might be a stump. Most of the stumps are pretty well and gone but uh, you never know. <laughs> so uh, I did bring this one new toy today though. I'm hoping it's gonna help me out. I got it for a Christmas gift actually from uh, Mrs. Honeydew. So let's see, let's give it a shot. Yeah, it's a little bit of shade. Not bad. Hopefully it helps out today. Um, I'm here <laughs> at pretty much about high noon right now, which is ideal time for using these types of tops. Hopefully uh, it helps out as long as it can. Obviously in the early morning, the sun's really low and it's not gonna help you much. And obviously in the later afternoon, same problem. So at least around midday, usually when the sun is beating on you the most, that's when these uh, are the most useful. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a trial run, start doing a little bit of cutting, and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, well, um, I'm gonna keep cracking at this, but uh, let me show you real quick what I've done. Not a whole lot. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna have to be moving really slow because I'm just avoiding a lot of stumps. And I'm also up in an area that has, still has a lot of stumps in it, so I'm moving extra slow. And you may have seen me, I just, if I find them and they're loose enough that I can break them and throw them in the woods, and that's what I do. And it helps because every time I do that, things get a little smoother and there's less little branches and roots and random things that are just kind of getting in my way. Things are pretty brown right now, but that's okay. They'll green up. At least the, the perennial grasses will green up. Obviously the annual rye grass and the cereal rye, they're done. Obviously you can tell in this area here, it's still kind of patchy. I could run over this a second time, but I'm sure I'm gonna be out here mowing again. I'll just save that for the next time.
I just wanted to turn it off to show you this. <laughs> you can see where it comes up to the nose of the uh, of the mower. And there's still like another two feet over top of that at least. Three feet in some instances. <laughs> yeah, I think I let the grass grow a little longer. <laughs> as much as I, I like to do this, I don't know if I'm going to do it again. Uh, only because this mower really isn't obviously designed for this, but maybe the next time I do this, uh, I'll have some heavier equipment <laughs> and it won't be a problem. We'll see. All right. I'm going to keep at this, guys, but as always, you guys be good. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Oh, man. What did I do?